Hey, it's JC here, JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue, that's Toledo, Ohio, 4361741931-6097, JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. I'd like to uh, give a big shout out to Mr. Robert from Pittsburgh, who was just in here. He had bought some stuff last week, I was going to ship it off to him, and he had a business trip up this way and just... So I had to come pick up the uh, merch instead and then drop it another couple hundred. So thank you, sir. Good seeing you. Good chatting with you. Hope you enjoy the Marvels and the Fampies and some of the other cool new Adam stuff that you have. But let's see. we got some reorders here. Let's see if we can get through these quickly. We've got Batman 66 Volume 1 trade. We've got another Nightfall. Man, these things are just blowing out these days. This is like my my seventh reorder in the last few weeks. Got the volume one. You're gonna see volume two in here someplace too. Uh, I've got the Immortal Hulk, volume six. Long Halloween. Gosh, I've probably sold over a hundred of these things since they've uh, been coming out or more, probably more. Got uh, Immortal Hulk, volume two. Batman Rebirth, volume one. I am Gotham. Saga, Volume 2, gives me a full complement of Saga trades once again. Ice Cream Man, Volume 2. Death in the Family. Been out of these for a while. Sometimes I run out of stuff and forget to reorder. So we got these back in stock. Moonshine, Volume 3. I turned on a new guy to Moonshine, Volume 1 last week. Mr. Don, he enjoyed it. Told him I had 2 and 3 coming in this week. Here we've got Batman Adventures. This is Volume 2. Preacher, Book 4. So we've got a full run of Preachers once again. Bought a couple copies, so I had one in case it sells out. Mr. Sam, I think Mr. Sam's looking for a revival. We've got Book 2 or Volume 2 on revival. And we've got a Volume 1. Let's see what else we have here. We've got some comics. And then for Mr. Joe. There's issue three of Red Agent, the Human Order. I know somebody's going to be happy. Mr. Stewart on his vacation, one of his 76 weeks of vacation he gets a year. Robin Hood Justice number two. We've got Darth Vader four, which is sold out, so it's nice to have that back in stock. Here's that. There's the prelude to Nightfall. This is Nightmares, Batman trade. Mr. Uh, David's going to be very happy to get that. We've got Batman Hush. Got that back in stock. There's Volume 2. Detective Comics Volume 6 was out of that. Volume 2, I Am Suicide, Batman. Batman Flash, The Button. Let's see here. Something else for David. The Fall and the Fallen. Unfortunately, they don't number these. These are this is some idiocy at DC. Maybe that's why they gotta fire people. What what volume is this? It doesn't say on the spine, does it? On the back, volume eleven. Put it on the spine. You put it, you know, so people can see what they're getting. Volume two of Moonshine. Set that aside for Don. There's one for the stands. There's volume eight, Code Days, Batman Trade. This has to be there's a Revival, Volume 5. This is Volume 4, Immortal Hulk. This is probably Volume 1. Oh, another Volume 3, a Moonshine. Toss that aside. Let's see what's in this box here. And also, you can see my Godzilla box has been damaged. Big Lizard King's not going to like that. He's going to be stomping all across Baltimore. It takes some... Take it out on uh, people with uh, the diamond. There's Archie and Katie Keen. I know somebody's going to be happy for that. Here's Red Agent, uh, the Human Order number four for Joe. There's another Robin Hood D Justice for Delos when he comes in. There's another one. Get one of those for the stands. This was a damage replacement on. Red Sonja, Age of Chaos, number six, the chew cover. I think this is the D. This is the D. To do a shot. There's some more Red Agents. 
issue two, issue seven. I'm not going to tell you what covers these are because it doesn't matter at this point. Issue six, look at that. Erect, I mean, eradication. That's what that says. That's what that cover represents. It represents eradication. There's issue eight. There's more eradications going on in that cover. Issue one, man, eradications all over the place. Issue eight, human order, some other covers. These are just sexy covers, so I wanted just to order them because I know I can sell them to somebody. That's issue five. Almost looks like uh, J. Scott Campbell. There's issue nine. There's issue six. Look at that cover there. Revival volume three. I'm going to grab the phone. Okay, got the phone. That, uh, certainly some... Uh, get the Hellraiser original sense trait. Uh, certainly some bad news. Uh, I was going to get the rest of those comics this past week. Uh, he had found more comics, and he just called to tell me that uh, the house got broken in today. And uh, okay, the uh, battery ran out. Uh, saying you know, before the battery ran out, I talked to the guy whose comics I bought last week. He had found more comics, and. I uh, was going to buy them this week and decided to hold off on a, uh, for a week to give myself a chance to um, continue the process what was here and also give people who had, who had bought some of those comics a chance to uh, have a break themselves. That way it's not, you know, if they spent good money already... Uh, it didn't uh, expect them to spend more money, but uh, um, his uh, robbed earlier today, and uh, which is which is which is really really disheartening, almost as disheartening as uh, this this here. Look at that! The Godzilla was pretty much destroyed. Pull that out. Yeah, yeah. Look at that box right there. And I tried to uh, have UPS mark that box down as a damage, which I've done dozens upon dozens of times in the past when the old crew was there or new crew was like, "Well, we can't do anything about it. So you, you, you've already signed it out. We, we can't go back." It's like, "Well, yeah, you can." You know, Rick and the guys, those other guys, are able to, and I think it's just a lot of unwillingness on their part to want to do anything as far as indicating that this box was damaged but here here's your proof that this box is damaged at least one figure damaged and i've got a box of new comics from diamond that's damaged too but hopefully not as bad as that all right let's um Get this stuff invoiced out so I can get this uploaded and uh, try to get some stuff um, get this uploaded and then we'll take care of uh, coming and getting the rest of the comics uploaded. Uh, I've got more uh, from the extra movie. Here's the, uh, the Mystique pop. Got a lot of DC calendars, vintage calendars. Here's the Wonder Woman Vintage 2021 calendar. Lots of cool Wonder Woman related covers. There's the World's Finest Vintage Calendar. I only got only about one each of these, so if you're interested, don't wait. The Flash Vintage Calendar. There's a Batman Vintage Calendar. Actually, the Batman I bought a couple because it's Batman. Man. I'm really sorry I didn't, didn't pick those up Sunday now. There wasn't a lot of good comics in there, but there were some comics I knew that.
some people would be interested in. And, yeah, I feel really bad about that. Uh, here's a Call of Cthulhu hardcover Lovecraft book. Let's see if we can take a look at this a little bit. Cool images in here. Illustrated book. Got two of those. Those run $29.99. Okay, we got more pop figures here. Let's see. You see Gambit. There's a regular Gambit. That's not from the movie, of course, because Gambit's never appeared in the movies. Uh, this is a nice companion piece for Rogue. Where's, where's Rogue hiding at? Rogue's up here someplace. She's hiding someplace. There's Rogue. There she is. Nice companion piece for Rogue. Uh, Nightcrawler. That's from the movie. You can tell because he's got all the tattoos on his face, the markings. You know, they just have to, the movies just have to add, add stuff. They can't, can't just leave well enough to I think they're improving. There's Jean Grey. Yes, it is that time of the month where she's got veins all over her face. She's all angry. She's angry, stay out of her way. There's another Nightcrawler. Let's just check the gambits just to make sure those are all bobbleheads. Make sure there's no chase figures. And Mystique. Again, just couldn't do Mystique like she is in the comics. There's another Jean Grey. I'm going to pause this and then we're going to look inside the other because I got more pop figures too. Okay, let's see what's in this box here other than paper. Because of course, we're going to have paper. And lots of it. There's Wonder Woman in her golden armor flying. Why these are flat and they're not in one of those boxes is beyond me. To me, you fill that box up with pop figures, calendars and everything you put in this box here. That's beyond me. Another Nightcrawler. Got some Mandalorian figures. There's the Mandalorian. Got Professor X from the movies, Patrick Stewart. We've got some Farrah Fawcett pops. There she is in her famous, uh, her famous poster. So we've got that. We've got some of these alien big chap figures. From the Alien movie. And how they put them in there. The hook is bent on these. Because again, somebody can't be bothered to make sure that they put them in, in here responsibly. We've got another Godzilla vs. Biolante. Figure. Glad to have this. There's the creep. Had somebody in last night looking for the creep from Creep Show. That might be. I want to say I have more of those, but it might be my only one. Maybe. Another Aaron Rodgers with the Super Bowl cap on. Again, more Mandalorian figures. We've got this armored Batman. I want to say this is from Dark Knight's Metal. Yeah, this is from Dark Knight's Metal. The Dark Knight's Metal Batman armored PVC figure. Which 
Okay, just fell on the floor. Oh, fair more fair faucets. And we got more pop figures here. Spider-Man's facing each other. Not sure what that is. I'm gonna pause this quickly so I can pull some of this other stuff out. Okay. I had some more uh, Black Widows. This is the assortment we got in like a month ago. Thought these might be damaged. Luckily they're not. That's Crossbones. There's the Blonde Widow. Oh, we've got Spy Master. We've got the Winter Soldier. We've got the Red Guardian. Who doesn't look like the Red Guardian. Chubby Guardian, got more Taskmasters, and then we've got the Black Widow herself. These are a lot of these are movie figures. So we got movie figures there. Okay, look at these pops. Take a look at this. These, these are Spider Man's. This is uh. Spider-Man vs. Spider-Man. This is based on uh, at the end of uh, Into the uh, Spider-Verse where you have the two Spider-Mans pointing at each other. Pretty, pretty cool. And then we have this is the second Lemmy Motorhead figure. He's got a cigarette in his hand, as Lemmy would. He's got his hat on, got his moles. So we've got this Lemmy figure. Lemmy Kilmeister. Hail Lemmy. Lemmy is God. Uh, if you do like these videos, as always, be sure to. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to share the video and hit the smash that bell for notification. Thanks everybody for watching. Sorry about the bad news. I had to uh, sit, you know, talk about that collection and it's uh, gosh I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed that happened to him. Thanks again.